Why is it that when this vampire, who has a very strong immune system, ingests this blood, there is no immune response? Let's say that this vampire is type B blood, but he is ingesting type A blood. So why is there no immune response? Well, first you have to think about why is there an immune response in the first place? If you are type B blood and then you take in type A blood, that A blood has antigens on the surface of those red blood cells. And the antigens are peptides. So I'm going to draw a bunch of amino acids in a chain together. Each one of those A's is an amino acid. And it's going to fold up into a completely folded up protein. And then that, or some piece of that, will be what the immune system recognizes. So let's just say that there's a section of a totally folded up protein that that's what the immune system recognizes, and that's why it initiates an immune response. But when we ingest it and it goes through the digestive system, what's going to happen is that things in the stomach and the small intestine are going to denature this protein and chop it up. So instead of this completely folded string of amino acids, we have chopped it up into single separated amino acids, or maybe there's a couple of them that are still attached to form some dipeptides with two amino acids together. But in either case, the folded up protein is completely destroyed. So now that part that our immune system recognized is no longer there because it has been chopped up. So anytime you ingest something, you're not going to initiate an immune response the same way that you would if you took something intravenously. And that's why whenever you do a blood transfusion, you have to make sure the blood type is correct because going straight into the bloodstream, there will be nothing there to break up those antigens that we find on the blood cells.